we got another Tuesday. This week, it's hammer time. We're talking air hammers. Air hammers, I think, are one of those tools where it's real easy uh, to cheap out. Uh, they're super available. You get one at Home Depot, Lowe's, Harbor Freight. This one right here is like a cheap Harbor Freight one. Uh, and it doesn't seem like the type of tool uh, that you need to spend big money on. But in my experience, uh, like personal experience over the years, I feel like I've probably spent three to $400 in cheap air hammers over the past 10 years, uh, 10 or 15 years. And that's uh, Home Depot, Harbor Freight, Amazon, uh, you know, just going for a cheap 20 or 30 or $40 air hammer. I think this one was like a $50 kit I got. Um, but there's always been some things, you know, some nice air hammer jobs that I, I haven't been able to, uh, you know, bang free or bang loose where the snap-on boy here comes in and does it with ease. Uh, so some uh, utility with this air hammer probably some things that you don't really think about you know the number one thing is like axles pushing an axle through a hub uh, but then you have like a hub assembly that's stuck to the knuckle you get a nice uh, bit on here um, you know something that you can get in between the hub and the uh, knuckle and then give it a couple good shots and this will kind of dig in and start to separate the hub assembly from the knuckle um, that's something that a cheap air hammer really won't get in there and, and uh, do quickly for you. Um, you know, another thing that a nice air hammer can do is say you got an inner and an outer tie rod that are seized together. A couple quick wallops with the air hammer up against uh, the joint where they're seized will kind of shake it loose. Uh, will break up that corrosion and that's something that a lot of people don't think about using an air hammer for is like stuck nuts and bolts uh, if you could get a good surface you can vibrate a lot of stuck or seized nuts and bolts free uh, just by giving it a couple good pounds with the air hammer uh, so this might be one of those tools uh, that's worth the upfront investment Next thing I want to talk about real quick is this guy. Uh, some people call it an alignment wrench uh, or a pipe wrench. Uh, at my shop here, we don't have an alignment machine, uh, but this tool has still proved itself invaluable. Um, the gripping force that you got on a, a pipe style wrench like this uh, can't be matched by any other wrench. Um, the effort that you put into turning it will actually tighten the Grinch around whatever you're trying to spin free. Um, and especially if you're trying to crack free uh, an inner and outer tie rod. Uh, if you've got a nut that is super tight and you need a lot of leverage, uh, a tool like this is super valuable. Um, this is a kit that you can get from the Snap-on truck. It comes in three different sizes. You got the big boy here, and then you get like a 10 inch medium one and I think it's a seven inch small one uh, to get into tight spots. Um, this is like an instant awesome investment. This is up there with the snap-on adjustable wrenches uh, or these snap-on alignment or pipe wrenches. Uh, even if you don't have an alignment machine, this is something that's well worth the money. Uh, you'll find a lot of nuts and bolts that you're able to get leverage on uh, with a pair of these wrenches that you can't get with anything else. So. Uh, just a short one this week, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Any comments, questions, you know, leave them down bottom. And I'll check in with you next week. Peace.